Hello, everybody. This is Bobby T with WiltonLive.com. We're here in beautiful Hollywood, Florida at the Cherno Park for the Dr. Martin Luther King Human Race 5K Run. Dr. King would have been 88 years old this year. To honor his legacy and promote community service, Hands On Broward has organized an entire weekend of events that include up to 1,500 volunteers and participants. I'm gonna interview some of the staff here at Hands On Broward, as well as capture the overall enthusiasm and speak with some of the event's participants. We wanna see how this event is honoring Dr. King's life's work. Thank you for watching. We're here with Eric and Alex. Can you tell me what brings you to this event? Well, it's a great opportunity to give back, and um, I like to run and get out here and, you know, kill two birds at one time, giving back and get some um, exercise, get the body in shape. Yeah, what inspired you to come here and participate in this? Well, we run a lot, and it's a good cause. So, uh, you know, we've heard about it. John has a place down here, and he told us about it. So we came down and run. We run when we come down two or three times a week. And so it was a good race. It was a lot of fun. It's a nice course. We're here with Eric all the way from Kansas City. Eric, what brought you to this event in particular? Uh, well, I wanted to run on the beach, uh, and I thought this was cool, and then I really saw that it was related to Martin Luther King. I thought that was even more cool. One, it's the uh, camaraderie with the fellow runners, and also it's something to celebrate Dr. King getting started, because he not only did things for people in this country, but all over. Because I was actually born in Jamaica, and growing up, he was a role model for a lot of us growing up along with Marcus Garvey. Can you tell us what this event means to you? Well, I love to run and I basically just run uh, at least three to four days a week and I do it for my health. I think it's a fun activity. I love to be outdoors. I'm with my friends and I don't think there's anything greater than doing occasional 5Ks. This is my second or third time running it. Uh, great weather out here, so good people, fun, so you know, I don't mind doing it. Great fun. We have Christian here with the Panther Patrol, one of the sponsors here at the event. Christian, can you tell me what brings you all out to this event in particular? Well, uh, we're here to uh, market uh, the BB&T Center uh, to help promote, to try to get people to come out to games at the arena. Uh, and we have a, it's a raffle that goes on every two weeks. And they, uh, they put in their information to try to win tickets to, to events at the arena. I'm here with Thais from Atlanta. Thais, can you tell us what brings you to this event in particular? Uh, sure, it is uh, the beginning of our Martin Luther King weekend, and no matter where I am, I like to celebrate. And it's very important to be here with the diversity of people when we have such a, um, a volatile political climate right now on Martin Luther King weekend, so that's why I'm here. Can you tell me what Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy meant to you? Oh wow, Dr. Martin Luther King's legacy to me um, meant equality for all, no judgment, you know, to accept people for who they are, and try to instill something positive in the people that you meet. Well, he was such an inspiration to so many people, and I felt like he really wanted to have everybody be together and work as a cohesive team. So I remember growing up, uh, in the early 70s and just remembering how powerful his speeches were and how meaningful it was at that time and still is today. It means so much to me and just the African American community uh, for what he stood for, uh, you know, nonviolence and service. And I try to do that in every day, so, you know, I try to live the dream, you know, because so many people have died for us and to give us this opportunity so I need to take advantage of it you know. Can you tell us a little bit about your organization what you all do? Yeah definitely so Girls Make Beats is a nonprofit organization we teach young girls starting at age eight about music production, DJing and audio engineering we're really passionate about empowering girls and positioning them to have a larger influence on culture through music. I myself started in the music industry as a recording artist and I saw firsthand in the recording studios a lot of the creative direction was coming from a man. There weren't a lot of women 
who I could look up to as mentors throughout my uh, process. So creating this space for girls to be able to feel comfortable and not intimidated and learn really cool fields that can give them career longevity like audio engineering and music production. It's something that we're super passionate about and I'm just definitely blessed to be able to have that avenue to help them. What inspired you to work with Hands On Broward at this particular project? Yeah, so actually I heard from Christina De Silva from Facebook and she heard all about our organization and she asked us to come out and I was so thrilled and so honored to be a part of such a great event that brings people together for such a beautiful cause for MLK Day. We're out here for the Human Race 5K presented by Comcast. We're just super excited to be here. We're here with three ladies from the Oracle Volunteer Group. Ladies, can you tell me what Martin Luther King means to you? Well, for me it means freedom an opportunity, equal opportunity for, for everyone. And I think he was a great American. I, I'm glad for what he did. Uh, I think it's a better country because of him, but the way things are going now, I, we need somebody uh, like him again, I think, to uh, maybe Obama will take that role, I don't know. It really promotes how all men is equal and uh, everyone should have equal rights and the, the right to do what they want. Well, the human race is here to get people together. It's a fundraiser to support local nonprofits as well as Hands on Broward and Hands on Miami. And it helps us to be able to fund uh, local civic um, community service projects to better our community. So for this event in particular, we had a great turnout and support from the community. What do you feel the connection between community service and exercise is? I think um, setting an example, uh, especially I have a daughter who's 10 years old, and I like to model an active life so that it's just part of her everyday experience and what she should do for herself. What makes you return year after year? Well, we want to support this cause and uh, we also enjoy participating in, you know, running and get together after work, you know, and volunteering, you know, and additional to us participating here, our group also donated to the cause. Christina De Silva is the Chief Operations Officer for Hands On Broward. We're very pleased to be joined with her today. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Wilton Live, for being with us. Every day that I get up, I get to go to work and I get to do something that makes an impact for our community. Um, our volunteers, we mobilize over 12,000 of them per year um, to do things like environmental cleanups. and. We have financial coaches, public art projects, we build gardens and schools, so every day of my job is, is doing something different to make a difference, so that is a very meaningful and important part of my life. Well, every day we deal in human capital and we deal in volunteers who are giving up their time. Uh, one thing that we find we can always use more of um, are individual and corporate donors that can give us uh, the funds that we need to go out into the community and to make an impact through our various initiatives. So. You know, we're always in need of, of cash donations um, and partnerships in order to make these things happen. What does community service and combining that with exercise mean to you? Well, <laughs> you know, this couldn't be a better uh, place for that question because this is a 5K fundraising health and wellness event to raise funds for an organization that enacts um, service opportunities in the community. So. Through this event, we're able to get people active and out in their community, and we're also able to raise funds for all of our various programs. And this weekend, this event actually kicks off MLK, our MLK weekend celebration. I think that what we do every day is a realization of Dr. King's work and of his vision. And so I am impacted every day by the unique blend of people that I get to work with side by side in service to make a difference for our community. So it, it has made me a better person. What does this organization mean to you? Uh, well, I'm a uh, coach of a school runners club and I try to uh, pick uh, races that benefit um, causes uh, for children and I know the uh, human race and the money uh, goes toward a lot of uh, uh, causes that help children. The organization and the causes it supports and obviously the beautiful venue 
walk, uh, running along the beach. So, and uh, they've always been uh, very uh, helpful to us. And you know, our kids have a good time here. So, did you guys have a good time today? Yeah. We're here with Kevin, the first place winner of this year's Human Race 5K run. Kevin, this is your second year. What did you place last year? I placed second. Uh, last year, I placed third place. Oh, I bet you feel good to come in first this year, huh? Yeah, big accomplishment. Big improvement, actually. But I love the people here, and I love running, too, and competing with my friends and also my, my uh, family coming out here to support, too. But all the, overall, it's a great atmosphere, and I love it. How do you feel Dr. Martin Luther King would feel about today's state of equality? He'd probably be a little disappointed with the progress. I would think that he personally would have probably thought that we're ma we've made great strides, great tremendous strides, but we, um, we still have a long way to go as a community, a society, and as a nation all together. We have a long way to go. I mean, racism unfortunately is not something that can be changed. It might take a couple more generations for him and his dream to be achieved as to what he wanted to see. Uh, just bringing people together uh, as one and uh, without division and uh, caring about one another no matter what your race, color, or religion is. We've come a far way, no doubt, but like with anything else, we didn't come this far just to come this far. We need to go further. We've made great strides and we've made an impact from where he first initially started. However, there's still uh, a little more resistance in the world today. There's still more work for us as all individuals to do because he wanted all of us to get along and be able to live in unison. So, uh, you know, we're, we're continue to make progress and hopefully in the future we don't go back, you know, but continue to keep moving forward. I think he would think that we were taking a few steps back along with all of his other comrades that are still alive, like Ralph David, well, that have gone and are still here. Ralph David Abernathy, uh, Joseph Lowry, like it's, 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 we're taking a few steps back, but we have to keep fighting and keep that spirit alive and make sure that we're healthy so that we can fight. And that's why it's important to get out here and run early in the morning so you have the energy to keep fighting all weekend long. I think he would be a little discouraged still that maybe we haven't gone as far as we could have by now. Um, but I think he would hope that there's still hope out there for us. How do you feel Dr. King would feel about today's state of equality? Well, uh, I, I definitely think he would um, smile on the fact that there was many big things that have um, progressed us as African Americans, um, of course, with our first African American president. Um, but, but not only that, um, just um, equal opportunity. I think it's improved compared to his times, but you know, it's not quite where he probably wanted it to be, so we still have work to do, I would think, you know. What do you feel Dr. King would think about today's state of equality? Well, Dr. King has a great quote on volunteering, and he says anyone can serve. So in order to really be the change that we want to see and change our community, we have to do it through service. And volunteering does not discriminate, and it gives everyone the opportunity from different walks of life, religions, backgrounds, and nationalities to get together and do something for the common, well, the common good of all of society. Hello, everybody. We're here with Ms. Dale Mandel, the president of Hands on Broward. We're very pleased to be joined with you today. Thank you for joining us. Ms. Mandel, you've been with the organization for about 18 years. Can you tell us what Hands on Broward's vision is? Well, Hands on Broward's vision is to bring the community together. Um, we provide people power into the community. Um, you know, communities have issues, right? So part of what we try and do is bring volunteers together to find solutions for those problems. We truly believe that service unites us all. Why is it important for Hands On Broward to honor his legacy? Because we are a convener of people and we are a convener of a diverse group of people. And we want to make sure that everybody in this community lives without fear, lives without prejudice, lives a, a, an authentic life and takes care of one another. And that's really what we're about. I remember watching him as a little girl on TV and my parents were so mesmerized by his message. And so from a very young girl, he's always been somebody that I've looked up to, inspired to be like, which is what makes this celebration for me personally and for my organization just so meaningful. I'm hoping to leave a legacy behind so that when I move on either in my career or in life that this organization continues to do the good work that it does in the community. 
I just want to thank all the volunteers that come out every day. I certainly want to thank our sponsors, Comcast. We couldn't do it without Comcast Communications. They make this happen for us. And then certainly my staff. And you. Hands on Broward has been a pillar in the community since 1974. Um, and it is a very meaningful thing to have you here and to have all of these people here to support our work and to help us to continue our vision. We're here with WiltonLive.com for Hands on Broward.